This video may be paused wherever you feel that you need time to understand any concept. The skeletal system, the skeleton, bones and joints. The learning objectives. At the end of this chapter you should be able to 1. Identify the bones that articulate at different joints in the body. 2. Understand the classification of joints. 3. Give examples of the six types of synovial joints. 4. Analyze a range of sporting techniques. In this lesson we will have an introduction about the skeletal system. We will learn about the structure of skeletal system, types of bones, types of joints, types of synovial joints, range of movements, synovial joints and their actions. The skeleton is the central structure of the body and is made up of bones, joints and cartilage. It provides the framework for muscles and gives the body its defined human shape. Bone is the hardest connective tissue. Joint is a place of union or junction between two or more bones. Cartilage is a connective tissue found in many areas of the body. It is a resilient and smooth elastic tissue, a rubber-like padding that covers and protects the ends of long bones at the joints. Structure of the skeletal system the skeleton has over 200 bones, specifically 206. You should be able to identify the main bones in the body. The main bones of the skeleton and their location are shown in this picture. As you can see all the bones are clearly labeled. The functions of the skeleton. After knowing the structure of the skeletal system, you also need to understand the five functions of the skeleton. These are First Shape and support The skeleton keeps the body upright and provides a framework for muscle and tissue attachment. The skeleton gives the correct shape to our body. Second Movement The skeleton allows movement of the body as a whole and its individual parts. The bones form joints and act as levers, allowing muscles to pull on them to produce movement. The bones of the skeleton provide surfaces for the attachment of muscles. Third, protection. The bones of the skeleton protect the internal organs and reduce the risk of injury on impact. For example, the cranium protects the brain, the ribs offer protection to the heart and lungs, the vertebrae protect the spinal cord and the pelvis offers protection to the sensitive reproductive organs. Fourth, storage for minerals. The bones themselves are made of minerals and act as a mineral store for calcium and phosphorus, which can be given up if the body requires the minerals for other functions. Fifth, production of blood cells. Certain bones in the skeleton contain red bone marrow and the bone marrow produces red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Examples of bones that contain marrow are the pelvis, sternum, vertebrae and clavicle. The types of bones. Long bones. The long bones are longer than they are wide. They consist of a long shaft with two bulky ends or extremities. They are primarily compact bone but may have a large amount of spongy bone at the ends or extremities. Long bones include bones of the thigh, leg, arm, and forearm. Irregular bones. Irregular bones vary in shape and structure and therefore do not fit into any other category. They often have a fairly complex shape. They are primarily spongy bone that is covered with a thin layer of compact bone. The vertebrae and some of the bones in the skull are irregular bones. Flat bones. Flat bones are thin, flattened, and usually curved. There are flat bones in the skull, the thoracic cage, sternum and ribs, and the pelvis. 
The function of flat bones is to protect internal organs such as the brain, heart, and pelvic organs. Flat bones are somewhat flattened and can provide protection, like a shield. Flat bones can also provide large areas of attachment for muscles. Short bones. Short bones are roughly cube-shaped with vertical and horizontal dimensions approximately equal. They consist primarily of spongy bone, which is covered by a thin layer of compact bone. Short bones include the bones of the wrist and ankle. The diagram below shows a summary on bones. It mostly shows all what you need to know about bones. Joints can be defined as a point where two or more bones are connected in a human skeletal system. Cartilage is a type of tissue which keeps two adjacent bones to come in contact with each other. The three types of joints are Fibrous joints, also known as fixed joints. Cartilaginous joints, also known as slightly movable joints. And synovial joints also known as freely movable joints. Let us see the anatomy of different types of joints. Fixed joint or fibrous joints. In this the bones are fused and therefore permit minimal or no movement. These joints are fibrous joints which mean that the binding tissue between two bones is fixed in nature. Example of a fixed joint is the sutures between skull bones. Slightly movable joint or cartilaginous joint. This joint permits slight mobility that is more than what is seen in a fixed joint. The binding tissue in this type of joint is cartilaginous in nature. Example of a slightly movable joint is those found between intervertebral discs. Freely movable joint or synovial joints. These joints permit maximum movement between the bones involved. All synovial joints have the same components. Cartilage reduces friction. Acts as a shock absorber. Synovial fluid lubricates the joint. Synovial membrane produces synovial fluid. Tendon joints muscle to bone enabling movement. Ligament joints bone to bone, stabilizing the joint. They are also called as diathroses and are further classified into six types depending on the kind of movements possible. The six types of synovial joints. Hinge joint. Example of this joint is the joints found between in the elbow and knee. Pivot joint. A common example of this type of joint found between the neck and vertebrae. Ball and socket joint. This kind of joint is generally found in large bones such as the shoulder joint and hip joint. Saddle joint. A very classic example of this kind of a joint is the carpal metacarpal joint in the thumb. Condyloid joint. This type of joint can be found between the radius bone of the forearm and bones of the wrist. Gliding joint. These joints can be found between bones of the wrist and foot. There are two synovial joints that are responsible for a range of sporting techniques. Ball and socket joint. This kind of joint involves two bones. One of the bone has a large rounded end which fits into a cup-like socket of the other bone. This kind of joint is generally found in large bones such as the shoulder joint and hip joint. A ball and socket joint provides the greatest degree of movement among different kinds of joints including rotation, flexion, extension, abduction, and adduction. Hinge joint. This joint is said to be a very simple joint that allows movement only in one axis. It allows only two kinds of movements flexion and extension. Example of this joint is the joints found between in the elbow and knee. Types of joint movements. There are different types of movement that are permitted at each joint. 
flexion bending a joint this occurs when the angle of a joint decreases for example the elbow flexes when performing a biceps curl extension straightening a joint this occurs when the angle of a joint increases for example at the elbow when putting a shot abduction movement away from the midline of the body this occurs at the hip and shoulder joints during a jumping jack movement adduction movement towards the midline of the body this occurs at the hip and shoulder returning the arms and legs back to their original position from a jumping jack movement rotation this is where the limb moves in a circular movement around a fixed joint towards or away from the midline of the body this occurs in the hip in golf while performing a drive shot circumduction this is where the limb moves in a circle this occurs at the shoulder joint during an overarm tennis serve plantar flexion pointing the toes this movement only occurs at the ankle for example pointing the toes in ballet dorsiflexion the foot moves towards the shin as if you are pulling your toes up this movement only occurs at the ankle the table below shows some synovial joints and their actions the table below summarizes the body locations and types of movements associated with each type of joint. This lesson has been prepared by Supan Ahmed for the Secondary School Physical Education Association TV channel. Thank you.